Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing Crafty Firma Craft the Global. Okay, today we are going to do actually two new things. One is a cellar, uh, which is a way to better store our foods. And the other is, I'm going to eat this maize. Something is, something that's going to help me with building. Just building. Actually, a lot of things. But first, I made some small changes around here. First, I add the stress meter here. By the way, it's really low usage because I am currently uh, connected every, nearly everything to a clutch. So, yeah, it's <laughs> it doesn't use much. But it can use a lot of when I run everything. Second, I just did a bit of reorganization here. And by the way, harvesting tea, this is quite simple. Just shift right click. Then. Okay, I did. I managed to put pumps here. And I have to put another pump here because the crate pumps has a range limit. So I have to also carry the power around this axis. And yeah, that's it. I will also going to make this building bigger. So we can just use things here. Also, let me come here. The main changes are in this building. And they are a lot, actually. First, uh, here the, it, the, we don't have much of a difference, but here we have. First, I, I upgraded the auto loom machine. It also has a, a saw to to cut the wools. Also, I have a crafting area to use. And I moved the crusher here. But the main course is... Let's come here. By the way, I also changed the elevator's design. Voila! I moved everything here. In a much more compact and uh, better to look at. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, by the way, this mixer and basin is water filled, and this is the dry one. Also, water source is uh, under here. So yeah, and also I put a lot of glasses, and opens a door here to have a back a back door. Okay, those are the main changes. Now, let's make our oh. Just the perfect amount. Our first friend. I have to reorganize my tests. Okay. And I also need brass ingots and precision mechanism. Precision mechanism, come here. And brass ingots. Brass ingots should be there. Yes. Okay, let's put them. mechanism and okay uh, we give power but it doesn't do anything now but if I give redstone voila we have an extendo grip and I currently cannot use I think I it needs a power source uh, power a bit so I'm going to take this little guy and it's gonna feed him with some power where can I feed him do I have any words cool power line I think I'm not I don't 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I don't. Uh, anyway. Let's take this and if I put anything to my offhand, as you can see, I can stand quite quite a bit more. So yeah, extender grip is an extended grip, as in the name. Yeah, uh, I just felt like Captain Obvious. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm okay. Oh, I found somewhere to charge this guy. And let me just put this and get this. And after this finish, we have a fully working extendo grip. And I also there are some uh, other machines create. By the way, we are going to make a display link too. Actually, I can make this in this episode too. And the oh, and this is fully charged now. Okay. And we have an extendo grip. Okay. Also, we have potato cannon, which I don't know what what to fill it. Uh, vegetables, fruits, eggs, and pies. But I don't know. It it will it cover the terraferma craft uh, vegetables, or I can just add them with uh, the. Cube JS. I actually modified this mod pack a lot, so yeah. Okay. Next thing is sealed bricks. Sealed bricks is made with beeswax, which we get from uh, killing queens and any brick. And this is the main. Is it like this? Ah, yeah, it's like this. Okay, <laughs> that's better. That's actually better. I kind of like this. Uh, let me just do this. Okay, this is super fun. Guys, this is super fun. <laughs> okay, let me just dig this area and build a thingy here okay our basic cellar room is ready and the last thing i have to do is i need brass pipes yeah brass brass rods uh three brass rods so i have to just cut two of them uh two of brass okay let's cut them and then let's make our doors And this guy just does its thing. So I'm just going to use his his brother instead. Oops, no, 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 not. Uh, well, I think I just destroyed my... Oh, no, no, it's still there. Uh, it was a scare, guys. It was a scare. I, I thought I destroyed my precious blue steel pickaxe. I still have some blue steel. But it's super expensive. So I don't want to lose it. Okay, uh, let's go there. And please do not forget to leave comments, guys. I need your feedbacks to improve what I should do next. Okay, uh, now only thing we have to do is a climate station. Another one. And I think I 
could I can make this building a bit bigger, but I can just uh, make it bigger in the future. So climate climate station. What do you want? Okay, are two of you. Uh, by the way, I found a redstone vein, so our redstone comes from there. I have one here, and uh, I just need three more. And then we are ready with our climate station. Oh, there they are. And I need a... Uh, I need crafting tables everywhere. Voila, our climate station. Or a port portable uh, crafting table, which we don't have any in this pack. And I don't think I'm going to add anyone. Uh, I'm planning a future version of this pack with uh, backpacks, etc. But it's not uh, currently in the plan. Voila! Okay, what is... Okay. And now we have a cellar. Cellar. Uh... Allow ah, food shelves and hangers. Hangers can hold uh, meat products, and food shelves can uh, uh, handle other things. Okay, so performs the turn environments with co cooler average temperatures for food preservation below zero degrees. The decay modifiers there work slightly better. Okay. Uh, I live in a colder climate, so it's better for me. Okay. Shelf. Not this shelf, but... Acacia shelf, okay. Uh, it's easy. Let's make some. And let's compare them to... The vinegar method. Uh, which is better. Okay, we crafted some shelves and hangers. Let me just put them in a wall. And yeah, for now that should work. And let's not forget to close the door. Okay, first I gotta test two things. Let's get. Okay, you. I can get you. Thank you. And also, you are three years, seven months, seven six days. Okay. And you are here, seven years, two months, two days. Okay. Those are good numbers. We like to see. Okay, if I put, eh, it's same. Okay, and if I put in my hand, it's four months, three days, and in here it's also four months, three days. Ah, one year, four months, and three days. Okay, and Apparently, I, I think vinegar method is still better for us, but for some... Actually, for grains, I it, it will be use, much more useful, but for meat, I will still use uh, vinegar method. And I think I'm going to move those guys up there. And actually, this... And this looks better, I guess. Okay, let's get our grains. I need to put, need to put some stuff here. Okay, the grains. Drinking with this is super fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. It doesn't hold much, but 
it. Okay, it literally doesn't hold much. Four days. You're going to. Oh, you're going to spoil, you're going to spoil, you're going to spoil all. You are healthy. Okay, it's the one is one of the guys is going, is going to be spoiled. Okay. Two months. Okay. Uh, all the other ones are one day. Okay. Uh, you are going to become compost. So, no problem. Or uh, pig food. Okay. Uh, by the way, let me check. One month, six days. Three months, five days. Okay. But if I put it in here, let's check it. Four months, four days. Okay, it's better. And they still going to be used here. Okay. And let me just check the hang hanger. Okay, okay, sure. Seller right button items available. Hanger is a device for storing meat or garlic. Okay, it can also store garlic too. By the way, let's me just use you guys. And I think I'm going to turn this. Actually, I can turn these guys into whiskey. Rye whiskey. Okay. And the other stuff is. Okay. I can put garlic there. That works too. But vinegar pro, uh, vinegar is much more better. So yeah, we are going to continue with storing them in vinegar. Okay, for now this cellar kind of be uh, kind of feels like useless, but uh, with cellar we actually can. Yeah, they are currently aging. And let's look at the cellar. Okay. Fair my life. Cellars. Okay. Zero rates. Aging cheese. Aging cheese. And that should be placed in order to improve their quality of and shell life. Cheese wheel should be aged in cellar in order to obtain edible cheese from cheese wheel. Slice off. Uh. If the block is in the aging, aging, aging and vintage. Okay, we will see what the aging uh, does to it. I think it's going to improve the the. How can I say it? The nutrition values, but we will see. Okay. Uh, besides that, we have, we also have cream. That's to handle cream. We need something, mixing bowl, and we can with that we can make. Uh, we cannot make ice cream because we don't have vanilla, but we have salt, so we can make butter. So let's make. No, not you. Mixing bowl and spoon. Okay, you need treated lumber. That's actually quite expected. And lime water and glue. Okay, that's super simple. And the spoon is ex uh, much more simpler. Okay, let's make them. 
Okay, our mixing bowl and the spoon is ready. All I need to do is open this and put salt. And it's going to take a while. Yes, we have butter. Expires on seven days. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And if I... Okay, I can make garlic bread with it. If I salt it. Seven days. One month, six days. And if I put it here. Three months, five days. Okay. Okay, okay. And I think it's worth f for garlic bread. Uh... So, for everyone's knowledge, I love garlic bread. Okay, they are aging. Okay, now, we... I think I also add, need to add some support beams here. Maybe. Okay, we made a cellar. I, I'm going to close this area. Also... We made Extendo Grip, uh, which is an amazing uh, device. It's help, going to help us with a lot. And uh, of course, I uh, miscalculated. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Okay. Extendo Grip is going to help us with help us a lot with our buildings, and uh, I think you already guessed that i kind of enjoy building and we have a cellar which actually we literally can just store everything in the most optimized way in the game uh we can just and we just need to research about them and we can use them okay uh, one thing I'm going to do is uh, put, after finishing this building's roof, I'm going to put a windmill here and just put some grinders, the millstone and some small helpers to this area. So our kitchen will be fully functional. Okay, and I think this is a short episode. It's going to be a simple, we're going to be a simple update and things episode. But we have most of the necessary things. I'm just going to need to automate everything. One of the first things I'm going to automate is these guys because uh, I started to use a lot of compost and. This guy is really necessary. I can use hummus too, but hummus is a bit seasonal, and uh, I collect a bunch of hummus after winter. But in the meantime, after they finish, I need to collect more. Uh, they do not cut. Also, I need to collect a lot of kelps because I'm going to use a lot of belts. So. This is Crafty and have a nice day.